Thank you again for tuning in for another exciting shing dance in the kitchen. Okay, so today I'll be sharing my classic or signature, may I say, ginger drink. And of course, I've got my Ghanaian honey here. You can use any honey of your choosing. And my organic, yes, ginger. Now, I have kept the skin on. I've washed it with salty water, so I'm good to go. And I've got two and a half pieces of lime. And of course, I'm grating the zest of the lime because I I love that aromatic flavor and oils that the zest offers this drink. Now, if this is your first time, you're welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. Now, let's talk about the superfood ginger and why it's important that we should include this on a daily basis um, to our diets. Okay, so ginger is definitely loaded with lots of antioxidants. And, you know, the most important thing, it prevents stress and damage to your body's DNA, which is very important, you know. Um, so it helps your body fight off any chronic diseases like high blood pressure, heart diseases, any diseases of the lungs, you know, and also helps promote um, healthy aging process. So why wouldn't you add this to your daily diet? And of course, if you do live with any chronic indigestion illnesses, like ginger is your best friend because it helps with you know nausea and also helps with a quicker metabolism because it allows you to you know empty your system faster than normal so yes especially if you have ginger tea or a ginger drink before you eat that helps a lot because you know food is not going to stay in your tummy for too long to cause any sort of like problems then now if you are allergic to citrus fruits then of course you can omit the lime but there are benefits to lime. Limes are high in vitamin C and in antioxidants as well. It does help improve your immunity. It will reduce any heart disease risk factors. It prevents kidney stones. And it also aids um, iron absorption. And it promotes a healthy skin. So yes, if um, you don't have lime, you can use lemon instead. So when I say this is a superfood, it is, isn't it? <laughs> With all this concoction going through. So of course, I've added my water to the ginger, the zest, and also the lime, and I'm blending everything until it's beautiful and smooth. After blending my ginger, I'm now straining it using my strainer or colander, may I say. Now, as I always mention, there is no waste in this kitchen. So, of course, I'm adding extra water just to make sure that I've extracted all the juice out of the ginger. As I mentioned earlier, at this point, you can refrigerate this and, yes, have a swig or two first thing in the morning and you're good to go. Now, the next ingredient I'll be adding will be my honey, and it's the beautiful Ghanaian honey, but you can use any honey of your choosing. Now, honey is a good source of antioxidants. It's, you know, it has great antibacterial and antifungal properties. It would help soothe the sore throat. It helps with also your digestive issues. Yes, and it helps heal wounds. So this is definitely a healing drink, isn't it? And of course, I'm mixing everything together. Now, this is optional but it is necessary for me which is my pinch of pink himalayan salt now the thing about the pink himalayan salt is it's known to improve your sleep quality um it does reduce any signs of aging yes <laughs> it would regulate one's blood sugar which is very important and you know it gives the body that balance of its ph balance yes which is definitely needed and improves uh, respiratory diseases as well so why not so you can just tell this as a powerhouse So I'm adding some cloves to this mixture and mainly for the antimicrobial properties um, because they help stop or reduce the growth of microorganisms like bacteria in our bodies. Also, it's a really great ingredient for our oral hygiene. So yes, and it's also rich in manganese. Now, it also helps 
um, improve the health of your liver. So definitely is something we need to include into our drink. As you saw, I added some slices of blood orange. You can use any normal oranges that you do have available. And also some cucumber that offers that refreshing flavor, you know, whilst drinking this and crunching on the cucumber as well as, you know, sucking the juice out of the blood orange and biting into a clove. And of course, I've just added some mint and this is the chocolate mint. It's almost perfumery, so a little goes a long way. Yet again, you can use your normal mint. Now, this is a beautiful beautiful punch may i say a healthy punch to have at your barbecue your garden parties or you know just a treat for yourself with a good book yes that goes a long way sit in the garden or yes maybe a picnic maybe yes go out of the house go for a picnic and enjoy this what i particularly enjoy about this is once i make this juice i can reserve it in the fridge in an airtight container for up to about seven days and in some mornings or some days depending on whatever it is i like to squeeze um, the juice of um, a grapefruit so this is definitely my powerhouse drink my signature drink that i'm sharing with you all and i hope you do like what you see On this particular day when I made my ginger and grapefruit juice, I served it alongside my char grilled Yes, may I say tilapia. And I've covered that recipe as well already, and I'll leave a link in the description box. In case you missed my previous video upload where I discussed how to prep, cook, and preserve your beetroot, yes, I'll leave a link in the description box so you can familiarize yourself with it. I went in depth and also discussed the benefits of having beetroot. Now, adding a few slices of these beetroots to this ginger drink is a straight energy booster absolutely so if you're feeling lethargic and stuff yes try that and thank me later absolutely <laughs> now the best thing you can do for this channel is like the video leave a comment or two share with your family and friends yes that would help the video go further yes and you know we don't want to just keep this to ourselves we want to just share with everybody yeah Please note, thanks to your support and love and appreciation, I've been able to introduce my spice blends and seasoning range that would make trying any African dish quite easy. Absolutely. And I'll be coming up with more recipes using the blends. Currently, I only ship to the UK, but yes, I am working behind the scenes to make sure that it will be a global thing. Yes. Please pray. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let's pick that into existence. Now you will find traditional African recipes on my blog, indudubyfafa.blogspot.com and creative recipes on my lifestyle blog, fafagilbert.com. You will also find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat as indudubyfafa. So pass by and say hi. Noel, thank you very much for my theme song. And on to my next recipe with you, kings and queens. Thank you very much for gracing me with your presence today. You are incredible incredible me i love you for you you see i appreciate each and every one of you and i can't thank you enough mm -hmm.